Hello everyone. Welcome to AutoCAD online tutorial presented by BIM Labs Engineering Services Private Limited. BIM Labs is an authorized Autodesk learning partner. I am Chan Krishnan. I am working as a technical engineer at BIM Labs Engineering Services Private Limited, Trivandrum. This is my email ID. You can contact me in that. In this tutorial video, I am going to show you how to import PDF and attach images in AutoCAD. So we can import the geometry, fills, images, and true type text from a PDF file into the current drawing. So why do we do this? Even if we do not have the DWG drawing or AutoCAD file of any sample drawing, instead of drawing it again, we can directly import the PDF. The visual quality, along with some of the properties such as PDF scale, layers, line widths, and colors can be preserved. PDF files are a common way of publishing and sharing design data for review and markup. And AutoCAD supports importing PDF data. So now let's see how to import a PDF. To import a PDF, first of all, we need to go to the Insert tab in AutoCAD. Here you can see two options to import a PDF. First one is by using this Attach option in the Reference panel. Another is by using this PDF Import option. So let's see each of these methods in detail. So once I click on this attach option, you can see they are asking me to choose a reference file. So I'm choosing this file named as drawing as a reference file. And you can see it is of the type PDF. And I'm clicking on open. Now you can see a window has appeared. It shows attach PDF under me. So here you can see a preview of the, all the pages in that PDF. And also we can set a scale for which we want to import the PDF. And another part is that we can specify an insertion point for our drawing. So if we have set all these details accordingly, then we can click on OK. And here in this PDF, it has only one page. So you can see in the preview, there is only one page displayed. So I'm selecting this page and I'm clicking on OK. So now you can see that the PDF has been imported. So if I select this PDF now, you can see another tab has opened that is PDF underlay over here. And here you can see there is a panel known as Adjust Panel. Here you can set the contrast and fade values accordingly. And also there is an option to display in monochrome. So now the PDF consists of colored lines. So if I click on display in monochrome, you can see that it has changed to black and white. So to bring it back, just click on this display in monochrome again. So now you can see uh, there is another option on us show underlay. So you can see the underlay right now. So if I turn it off, you can see the underlay has been hidden. So to reveal and hide the PDF underlay, you can use this option. Another option is enable snap. So right now the enable snap has been turned off. So I'm going to the home tab and I'm using the line tool. So here, if I come, you can see that the snap points are not available. So again, I'm selecting this and I'm enabling the snap. And after that, if I come to the line tool, you can see all the points are snap points are available. So always make sure to enable the snap for the PDF. So I'm selecting it again. And here you can see I have enabled the snap. And now uh, I'm going to import as objects. I'm going to click on import as objects. So the PDF uh, underlay, I have selected it and I'm going to click on import as objects. So I'm clicking on it. Now you can see there are three options being asked in the status bar. That is polygonal all or settings. That is to specify the first corner of area to import. So I'm clicking on all because I want the entire drawing to be imported. For that, I'm clicking on all. And here you can see another three options that is keep, detach, or unload. So I'm going to unload the PDF underlay. So now you can see the PDF elements are getting converted. So it will take a little time. Just wait. So now 
you can see that the underlay has been converted into a DWG drawing. So if I select this, you can see it as a whole. So I'm just selecting this and I'm entering the command explode. So now you can see, I can select each of the elements individually. Okay. So this is how we attach a PDF using our attach method. So now let's see the second method that is using the import a PDF method. For that, I'm going to delete this under drawing. And if I come back to insert tab, here you can see PDF import option. So I'm dropping down it. So here you can see there is an option to import a PDF, that is PDF import, and clicking on it. So similar to the other method, this window opens and I'm choosing this file again, and I'm clicking on open. And this time, the window that has appeared is import PDF. So it has little more advanced options. So you can see the options and choose accordingly which are options you want to set. Just set it. And after that, just click on OK. So right now you can again see that the PDF elements are getting converted. Just wait, wait until the conversion is complete. So here you can see the drawing has become, but it's still like a block. So for that, we need to select this and like what we did in the last time, just explode it to make it individual elements. So that's about how to import a PDF. All right, I'm deleting this PDF right now. And apart from importing PDF, let's see how to attach image files. So we'll be now learning how to attach an image file. So we again use the insert tab to attach images as well. So similar to that of the PDF, just click on this attach option. And here, this time you can see, uh, instead of PDF files, I'm changing it to all image files. And here you can see a sample compass PNG file. So I'm clicking on open. And here you can see the attach image window has appeared. Here you can specify the point where you want to set uh, the insertion point. You can set it here, or else the scale also can be set here. So I'm not setting any of those. If I tick off this, I can enter the values advisor. So I'm not specifying the point, and just I'm simply clicking on OK. And right now, you can see the image has appeared. So the point where I need to place, I can randomly pick some point, or else I can specify the insertion point in the command area. So I'm specifying zero comma zero. So right now you can see the image has been set over here. And if I zoom it, you can see this is the imported image. Again, like the PDF, if I select this image, you can see an image tab appears where I can adjust the brightness, contrast, and fade values. And also there is an option to hide or reveal the image underlay here as well. And since I told you this is a PNG file, we can make the background transparent. For that, I'm clicking on this background transparency. Now you can see that the background has become transparent. The, uh, this, can, this is only applicable in cases of PNG files. So I'm hiding the background. And now you can see there is a frame, image frame. So to remove that image frame, first of all, I'm selecting this image frame. And then I'm entering the command image frame. I'm clicking on enter. So you can see uh, they asked me to enter a value. So I am entering a value one for the image frame. So right now it has become clearly visible. So the image frame value has been provided one. So if I provide it as zero, it will disappear. So for that, again, I am entering the command image frame. And after that, I am entering the value to zero. Now you can see the image frame has disappeared. So this is how we import a image. So we have learned today how to import a PDF as well as an image into AutoCAD.
well that's the end of this tutorial and in the next video we will talk about another topic so if you do not want to miss our next video make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel right now and thanks for watching